Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Back this month, my friend Franny Gertoffer, Executive Director of the Hilton Head Humane Association, a WHHI TV news partner, to talk about upcoming events to support our furry friends. Yes. And today you have Pokey. This is Pokey. She's an alumni she's of the shelter. She's a love. Yes. And so she's here today and, and also going to the schools this afternoon so that kids can spend some time with her as well. And thank you for my flowers. Yes. And, and Pokey brought happy you fall. a happy fall bouquet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just she's as a little so surprise. Sweet. You can. She can come next time. You can stay home. Okay. <laughs> and she can do all the work. Although, you know, she's just chilling right now. She's adorable. So let's talk about it. Recap the cut-a-thon. The cut Cutathon was a huge success. Huge success. Huge success. Um, you know, we need to thank the people who put it on, Tara's, Groomingdale's, Hilton Head Ice Cream. They put a wonderful event together, and after all that was said and done, they reached their goal and then beyond it. So they raised $10,000 for the Feral Cat Program. That's fabulous. And when you think about the Feral Cat Program being a service that's free to the community, this money really helps with making sure that we can continue to provide that service. Absolutely. So what else do you have going on? This and then month? on top of that, we mm -hmm. got a little bit rained out with um, Hounds on the Harbor because oh, yeah. of the hurricane yeah. passing by Walking. our way this past weekend. Unfortunately, so, but unfortunately, no flooding, so no we're flooding, good. No flooding and, you know, reaching yeah. out to all those folks who need who us do. now. Yeah. Uh, but since the Hounds got um, canceled, we are going to do it in two weeks on okay. the 17th. Okay. So we just want to make sure that people know we're still going to do it in Sea Pines Alrighty. on Saturday the 17th in Harbortown from 10 until 1. Alrighty. So everything is still set up. And then be actually the Friday before that, which is the 16th, TD Bank is doing um, Collect Change Day for the shelter. Okay. So their bank has a change counter and we're encouraging people to bring their change and then donate it to the shelter and then oh. they'll match certain portions of it. Plus we're going to do an adoption event there. So we're really excited about this is something new. That is new. And TD Bank supports the shelter so we're excited about yeah. the opportunity to join them on awesome. that Friday. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk a little serious stuff. Yes. Um, let's talk a little bit about what is the difference between a county shelter and a nonprofit shelter. Just a shout out to everybody who's doing such good work everywhere, but the county shelter is open admission. Okay. And private nonprofits are not. Such so as the Humane Association. Yeah, so that's correct? the biggest okay. difference. You know, we can work with people and our schedule as far as our space is concerned. Certainly. And, and we do. It takes a little bit more time. But the county shelters are actually a drop off. So, but we do encourage people right. to take a step back and to work also with their county shelters so that we can save as many animals as possible and not look at them as the drop off really that they have become. Right. And what about uh, the new animal ordinance for mandatory spay neuter of pit bulls? What's that going is, on with that? That is a big topic mm -hmm. and it's still in the works and it's something that we've been helping the county with as far as trying to save as many any pit bull and pit bull mixes as possible. So we're thinking that getting a handle on the reproduction of pit bulls is going to make a difference. So right. we're hoping that um, good things happen because of this ordinance. If it does go through, um, fingers crossed. But um, we're just looking again. It's all about saving as many animals as possible. Always. And we talked a little bit the other uh, week uh, about microchipping. Um, I'm going to let you make a few clarifications on that. It is a really good idea to have all animals microchipped. It's an identification um, chip. Okay. And a lot of people get confused that they think it's a tracking chip so that if their animal gets lost, they can somehow track their but animal it does through not a, do that, it right? It doesn't. Okay. It does, it does identify the owner all right. once the animal is found by an organization okay. or someone with all a scanning. Right. But, it, um, but, but again, it's still a great thing to do. We microchip all the animals at the shelter and we encourage people not only to microchip but to make sure to register those chips. Okay, and uh, bottom line, really, um you work diligently as a nonprofit to make sure all these animals are, you know, cared for and found a home for. And so people have to just, you know, they have to be aware that, you know, you're there for them, but there are other associations and you will obviously send them mm -hmm. to, to where they the need right to be. The right ones. And, and we're all working together. So we find that the more our partners uh, work together, not only in Beaufort County, but outside of Beaufort County, and actually outside the state, we're able to do a whole lot more for the animals. So this collaboration of organizations 
and this non-competitive spirit, but right. uh, competitiveness as far as finding animals' homes is really making a tremendous positive impact. Brandy, thank you as always. Thank you. I love having you, and I'll see you next month. Of course. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.